everyone. It is August 1st and it is the first day of Vlogist. Um, I'm just sitting here um, putting on some makeup um, because I have a very important errand to run before I do anything else today. Um, the battery in my laptop is dying and it's really not holding a charge and also my charging cable at the same time, how weird is that, is also on the fritz. Um, so I need to go to the Apple store and get a new battery and so I made an appointment uh, to go to the Genius Bar, um, but the closest one to me, the closest Apple store to me, is in Cherry Hill, which is about a 35 minute drive away according to Google. So that is my main errand for the day. Um, but also, um, but near Cherry Hill is a whole food store, and where I'm living, uh, we just have the regular supermarkets. We don't have any of the more premium supermarkets near me. Um, I was really spoiled when I lived in California because, um, sorry, I'm putting makeup on at the same time. Um, when I was living in California, because they had um, this chain called Bristol Farms and they had such beautiful fish and meat counter, um, you know, more so than the regular supermarket has. But now that I'm in New Jersey, I'm super spoiled by the farmer's markets because there's so much fresh produce, there's so many fresh vegetables and fruits. Um, but I really can't find the really high quality fish and meat counter at, at the regular supermarket that I do. I mean, I shop there anyway. You know, they have they have good food, but the really high quality stuff um, was always in Bristol Farms. But So I'm hoping when I go to the Whole Foods that I'll be able to find some really gorgeous fish for dinner tonight. I'm hoping to get some salmon and see what else they have. I haven't been to a Whole Foods in years. Um, but the closest one is very close to the Apple Store, so it kind of works out well. Um, so that's what I'm doing for today. I'm just finishing, putting my finishing touches on my makeup here um, so that I can look nice. Um, I'm hoping uh, to make a fish dinner for you tonight so that you can see um, one of my recipes for my first day of the full immersion into the Mediterranean diet. Um, sometime today I would also like to be able to color my hair as you can see my gray roots are coming in and uh, but that might have to get pushed off to tomorrow depending on how long it takes me to get to and from Cherry Hill and how long it takes me at the Apple Store. Um, so come along for the ride with me and I hope you enjoy today. Um, this is day one so we'll see how it goes. I've never vlogged before where I vlog every day um, so hopefully they won't be too long or they won't be too boring and if there's anything that you want to see me do throughout the day um, as you watch this month just let me know and I will see if I can work it. Thanks. See you in a bit. to the Apple store and um, don't worry I'm not driving <laughs> so I can hold the camera um, but first we're gonna go to Starbucks and get some coffee because must have coffee <laughs> and what are we gonna drink today a venti decaf non-fat latte hot venti non-fat hot decaf latte anything else for you and a tall version of the same please you got it we'll see up here okay I always get decaf. <laughs> I'm so hot. Coming back from the Apple store.
again while I am preparing a snack before dinner and I will turn my camera around so you can see. So I went to the Whole Foods today, as you know, and I bought Pyrenees Brebis Hervemont, which I'm sure is exactly how you don't say it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's this beautiful cheese that I cut up into this little container and sliced up this lovely New Jersey peach. And I'm enjoying it with a glass of Italian sparkling wine. string bean and potato salad. So I have some potatoes in to boil and I blanched some string beans and I'm going to make a lemon vinaigrette to go on that and we're going to serve this with some baked salad. So these are beet greens. I'm going to serve the salmon on a bed of beet greens and these were so sandy. I got these at the farmer's market and really had to wash them well but I think they're going to make a nice base for the salmon. been dicing some garlic for tonight's dinner. It's a lot of garlic, but I love garlic. It's so healthy for you. So here I have some homegrown green pepper, some radicchio, mm -hmm. the garlic I just minced, and some spring onion. And it's all going in with the fish. Isn't that beautiful? Getting ready to make the lemon vinaigrette. Look how many seeds are in an organic lemon. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Oh, but you should smell it. So here I have the green beans and the tomatoes. And I'm going to make my lemon vinaigrette. Can you, oops, can you see that? Some lemon here. I'm just squeezing on some lemon juice. Really getting everything that I can out of it. So I'm gonna start with about a half a lemon. salt, some pepper, I have some Italian spice here from Cento, it's Italian seasoning, and it has Basil, thyme, oregano, marjoram, rosemary, garlic, crushed red pepper, and that says spices and herbs. It's everything I would choose to put in here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give a shake of that because they've already done it for me. And then I have some extra virgin olive oil. Give a good glug of that because the potatoes are gonna absorb it. And I'm gonna give it a toss. So those vegetables that you saw are on top of the fish, and now this is an heirloom tomato chopped up on your top, and we're going to wrap this up like a packet and bake it in the oven. take a few minutes to appreciate a beautiful sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? I know it looks cloudy, but it's just so gorgeous. Hey look, there's the moon. Hello moon. Just look at that. Wow. 
probably doesn't even pick up on camera as dramatic as it is in person. But look at that. That's what life's all about, people. Well, that's it for today. It's been a very long day. <laughs> it was a very hot day. You can see I'm all red now. Um, but dinner was delicious, so I, I hope you try the recipe. I think people are intimidated by fish and vegetables. I know I used to be. I never knew what to do with fish. And I used to think, well, you have to bread it and fry it. You know, I never thought that you could do other things with it. And fish in a packet is so easy. And vegetables, too. Like, I never knew what to do with vegetables, but I've been learning how to find recipes online. I used to just either steam them or I would put them in the microwave, but I won't use a microwave anymore. Um, I have a whole article about that <laughs> if you want to know why. Um, but it's so easy to make vegetables. Um, the best way is to blanch them, which is all you really do is you boil them for, you sort of parboil them for a short time and then you plunge them into a bowl with ice water so that they stop boiling and it maintains the greenness, especially it's good for greens. Um, and then when you're ready to use them, you can do other things with them. Like if you do that to string beans, like I did for the salad, um, I cook them a little more because I was, that was all I was gonna do with them. But you could stop them part way, um, plunge them into the water, and then when you're ready to use them, you can keep them in the refrigerator for a few days, even if you want to. And you can then saute them in a little olive oil or butter or something, whatever you like, in a, in a little frying pan on the stove top, add a little salt and pepper, and they're, they're brilliant. I mean, and, and it really takes no time at all. So the dinner tonight, Although it looked elaborate, it was really quite simple, and it was just so good. Everything, I bought almost everything you know, today, and it was just so fresh. Um, so let me know if you try it, um, and we'll see what we come up with for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you for joining me on the first day of Vlogist, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.